In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare to hear God's word and to be nourished at his table, let's ask forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John of the Cross an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How good are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. They are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free-flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. His king shall rise higher and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now, I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Amen. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice he teaches the humble his way. Teach me your way, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, Then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. In the readings today, I see the uh, difference in spirit, maybe, or the difference in uh, spirituality. Uh, of heavenly vision between the uh, chief priests and the elders who are trying to trap Jesus, questioning his authority, and uh, they say, we do not know. And Jesus lets them be entrapped in their own words because he doesn't answer them, at least directly. And it's always a passage that uh, I smile at because... Um, we don't usually see Jesus in that role. But it's a different style and it's a different spirituality from the uh, Old Testament prophet Balaam, as we heard in the uh, reading from Numbers today. And as Father Wallace says in the uh, St. John's meditation book, Balaam was a pagan seer. So he was really an outsider. And yet, he gradually sees the working of the Spirit of God in Israel. So, he announces what he hears, what God says, and what God sees and knows what God knows. The people wanted him to curse their king of Israel, but... Instead, Balaam blesses Israel and announces that greater things will be coming. A star will advance from Jacob and a staff rising from Israel. And as New Testament people, as Christians, we see that fulfilled from centuries beforehand, the prophets stirring of the glimpses of God and what is in the future, in God's plan. And finally, I noticed that the way that it is worded, he repeats it twice in the reading today. It's a prayer that we also could pray as we want to see the Messiah more more clearly and give witness to him so that we pray that we want to hear what God says to see what God sees, to know what God knows. And that will be a blessing for us. And now let us stand to offer our petitions of faith and hope. Let's pray for our Holy Father, for our bishops, and for all who serve the church. May God continue to pour out his graces upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. 
and for all nations engaged in conflicts throughout the world, may Jesus, the Prince of Peace, bring them resolution and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all those who face economic uncertainty and uncertainty of health because of the pandemic, may God graciously look upon their needs and bring them relief and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of the sick, especially Al Starshak and Jim Brand. We pray to the Lord. And for our beloved dead, especially Mary Suba, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. And eternal Father, you give us the example of St. John of the Cross to show us how to embrace our crosses while trusting you. With this in mind, we ask you to hear our prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It's through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us of our sin. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings that we make gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago. And you opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and in majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for the day may inherit that great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we praise your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, his auxiliary Andrew, the clergy, and all your faithful. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, St. John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let's share a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> and 
for all of those of you at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you since you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and to hold fast to that which endures. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now let us go to glorify the Lord by our lives.